it's Jeff Chalmers here from discoverablebase.com. I've got another video lesson for you. We're going to be talking about articulation. In this lesson, we're going to explore why you want to be focusing in on improving your range of articulations. The double bass is quite a big instrument and it can be quite hard to express the full dynamic range in the way that maybe on a flute you have the lightness or on a regular guitar and they all have all those little bends and uh, hammer-ons and what have you. Well, we can do them on the double bass as well, and we're gonna look at how you can get them into your playing now. So the two articulations that we're gonna look at are slides and hammer-ons. Let me just play you something very quickly off the top of my head with no articulation, and then I'll add some more in. So just a two feel, a blues maybe. So that was fine, but maybe a little lifeless. Um, perhaps if we were to add in these slides or hammer-ons, we might be able to make it a bit more interesting. Let's have a listen how we could do that. So it was just a rough kind of playing through something, but all I was trying to do was to just show you that you can bring much more life into your playing and it really adds a whole range. It's like another palette that you can use to make your line sound more interesting. Let's have a look first of all at the slides. I think there's a problem with slides that people don't realize or that they haven't quite explored the different types. Essentially, you can have ones that go from one pitch to another Or you can have ones that only have um, a slight you slide away from and you only hear the first note. So you hear just hear down. Or maybe sliding into. So you just hear the first note. It's different to the um. So they're the two types of slides that you have to work with. When you do the slide, the hard thing is to make it smooth as possible. And if you've been working on your chromatic exercises and your shifting exercises that we look at elsewhere on the website, you'll be much more comfortable with keeping the string down, playing into the fingerboard like this and not losing contract. Don't lift up, obviously. You've got to connect these two notes fully. The next type of articulation I want to mention, and I've done a little bit of already, is hammer-ons and pull-offs. They're essentially the same type of thing. They can really help you in a number of ways. They can help you develop dexterity and stamina in your left hand. They help, uh, they help you learn to maintain the hand shape. And of course they sound great and they also help you to a point with speed, um, playing quickly. So to just hammer on between two notes, let's have a look at how you actually do that, D to E maybe. So first of all, I'm gonna tune the notes. I'm pretty happy with that. And now I'm just gonna practice the hammer on. As you'd expect, I'm hammering the finger down, but it isn't just the little finger in isolation. All of the other fingers, the other two fingers are coming down with it. The other one, the other side of the hammer on, is the pull off. The really important thing is that imagine that rather than just pulling up or pulling away, just releasing, it's not that motion, it's, it's pulling to the side. A bit like if you were strumming like this, like you were strumming a, strumming a guitar. So I'm pulling in this direction. And 
what's really important is to try and maintain the hand shape and to get right on with your fingertips, keep the fingers arched, all of the stuff that we spoke about in the left hand lesson. But if you can get these into your playing, I find that I've developed a lot of strength, I've developed a just more variety of sounds. Experiment with them, let me know how you get on, leave a comment or send me an email. Um, and if you'd like more video bass lessons, you can visit discoverdoublebass.com.